So from the official press briefing by the CCSA, Thailand recorded one more death and 42 new cases and 96 additional recoveries. The 84th fatality was a 92-year-old diabetic man living in Batum Thani province, just north of Bangkok. He also had hypertension and other cardiac issues. An investigation by health officials indicates that the man went to the Pon Pat market, the scene of the latest outbreak in Batum Thani, on February 11th. After visiting the market, he developed a fever, cough, and fatigue. He went to the provincial hospital on February 23rd and was found to be infected by the virus and was admitted for treatment until his death on Sunday. The 42 new cases today include 39 locally acquired infections and three arrivals from abroad in state quarantine. The local infections include 24 in Samut Sakon, 8 in Patum Thani, 4 in Tak, and 1 each in Bangkok, Nontaburi, and Nakhon Patong. Cumulative infections in Thailand since early last year are now over 26,000 with 25,420 recoveries and 84 deaths. There are another 570 who are still being treated in hospitals. And cumulative infections, if we count only this latest outbreak starting, to, starting the record on December 15, it will be almost 22,000 already, 21,836 to be exact, and death toll is at 24. Meanwhile, the Disease Control Department announced today that 3,021 Thais have already been inoculated with COVID-19 vaccine so far. Among them are 2,781 medical personnel and health volunteers, 133 officials, who might be in close contact with infected patients, 21 people with congenital diseases and 86 people living in high-risk areas. Also, it has been reported that five people who have been inoculated so far experienced side effects.